every, everywhere we walk, we're just walking from one meadow through the woods to the next meadow looking for bees and stuff, but I spotted uh, blue cohosh. Um, blue and black cohosh are uh, very similar, but the blue cohosh, like in the leaf shape and stuff and in the medicinal uses, but the blue cohosh gets these blue berries on top and they are gonna turn a, a, a bright, no, a blueberry, like a, a rich, deep blue color um, when they're ripe, probably within another uh, three weeks or so. And it's the root that is used medicinally. So this is all a big patch of blue cohosh right here. And uh, again, in the spring, the bees would have been working all sorts of metal woodland flowers in here, but it's pretty much past the time for that, except for the basswood and a few other uh, trees in here, uh, which can really show you how beekeepers can struggle when we put our bees in the woods to get away from corporate commercial farming, chemical farming. And we also have to fight off bears. I've had four bear attacks this year alone, and it's only mid-July. So um, wildflower honey is rich and clean and nice, but it's more expensive because of the, the issues that we face.